Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd show you how to use Luminar Neo as a plugin inside of Adobe Photoshop. So the first thing we want to do is go to Luminar Neo and up in the upper left hand corner click on the Luminar Neo uh, logo and go to File and go to Install Plugins. The plugins may already be installed for you because they will install when you install Luminar Neo, but just in case they're not, this is the way you check to make sure they, they're installed. If they're installed, it will say uninstall here. Uh, you can install both Photoshop and uh, Lightroom uh, plugins. So if this says install instead of uninstall, all you have to do is click install to install them. Once you have them in, Let's go over here to uh, Photoshop. I already have a photo open here. What we're going to do is we're going to create a uh, smart object. And uh, we're going to take our base background layer and I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it. And we're going to work with this one so that we kind of have a backup of the, the, the full sort of uh, image right here. So with this new layer selected we're going to go to layer and we're going to go to um, smart objects and we're going to go convert to smart object with this layer still selected we're going to go up here to filter down to Skylum software and select Luminar Neo once we do that it opens up Luminar Neo as a uh, plugin. So you can see up here there's a uh, cancel and apply and that's the way uh, we can either cancel out of this or apply what we do within Luminar Neo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, do some quick edits so, so that you can see how this is working and how it works. So let's just go to sky down here and I'm going to just select a uh, a, a different sky here and so let's put it into my photo we're not going to spend a lot of time editing the photo this is just a demonstration of how to use it as a plugin uh, the other thing we're going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to uh, a vignette and I'm going to uh, I'm going to darken the corners here so there's an obvious vignette let's actually make it a little more obvious this is just so we can see the changes are, are being saved. So when we go to apply, it will take a second for it to calculate it all out. So now we have our changes in here. The other cool thing is, is it's as a smart filter down here, as you can see kind of underneath this layer. And if, if I click this little uh, eye off here, it actually takes off the filter. So we can turn the filter back on and off. And so, it makes it really powerful to add it into your layers and to your workflow within uh, um, Photoshop. Now, if we want to change this, like for instance, let's get rid of this vignette because I only put that there for demonstration purposes and it's way too exaggerated and I don't think I want it in here at all anyway. We go here where it says Luminar Neo and we double click on it and it will reopen uh, Luminar Neo as a plugin. All right, so to change this vignette, we're going to go back to edit because Luminar, this is where Luminar Neo saves previous edits that you've done. And so uh, what we're going to do here is we can actually change the amount again. So can, we can change this back however we want to, or we can actually uh, say we had that on we can actually go and reset the tool or totally delete the tool out so we can we can remove that layer from there we could also go back here and change the sky texture if we wanted to and we could go back to tools and add whatever we we want what other other adjustments we want to do within luminar neo and so then we just hit apply and it brings the changes back into photoshop and we can continue uh, working in Photoshop and so we can add additional layers and adjustment layers in Photoshop and uh, continue working in Photoshop 
and uh, do whatever additional other changes that we want within Photoshop. So that's how you use Luminar Neo as a plugin within Adobe Photoshop. I'm Dean, and this has been Photo Blue, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.